previously on The Apprentice. For your next task, each team has to design, bake, and sell an original wedding cake. Primary has decided we need to be somewhat traditional. It's going to be five-tier wedding cake with a combination of some round cakes and some square cakes. Nice. That Great. looks perfect. Matchstick's cake is going to be an oval shape, four layers, with a ribbon around each layer. If we don't win this one, you have my word, you can fire me personally. Love it! Wow! It's gorgeous. Holy... I'm not going to lie. I mean, I think it's a little... Yeah, but it is what it is. Right. I don't want you to walk out of here thinking I should have done it. Yeah. Sure. I saw you okay. Is non negotiable. It is as it is. <laughs> Alexis, how did Matchstick do? Matchstick sold zero cakes for zero dollars. Well, it's a, a clear loss. Marcel, Bethany, Dawn, I could pick any of the three of you. What would be your reason for wanting me to be in there? Because I don't think you're ever going to be able to lead the rest of this team. Don't keep dragging me into the conference room because you don't want to listen to me and I'm annoying to you. Well, I want to know who was in charge of sales. There's only so much you can do, frankly, to sell a burka to a swimsuit model. In my business, they say, fake it till you make it. David, who do you choose? Project manager David blamed Marcella and Dawn for the team's loss. But I disagreed and I called the entire team back into the conference room. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Matchstick was in the conference room, and we as primaries decided to celebrate our victory. Yeah. I think the coolest thing is eight people as a team just getting it. Uh huh. I think now, yeah, I'll just bring your best people and bring it on. <laughs> so finally, we went down and we realized that there were three or four suitcases for Matchstick, but no Matchstick members. Guys? Hello? That's a little odd. Maybe they all quit. No. Way. No. no. But they all got canned. I think that this really was a sales problem, not a baker problem. And I don't think Dawn's proven herself either way yet. Sean, you said fake it till you make it. And in my business, there's just no faking it. And the second thing that you said was that if the team didn't win the task, that you would go home. You're not here to lose, you're here to win. And being part of this awful sales team is the icing on the cake. So, Sean, I have to say goodbye. Goodbye. They walk in a single file. <laughs> Sean? Sean's gone. What? The one person who seems to be one of the stronger members of the team, gone. During the conference room, Sean said, you know, fake it till you make it kind of thing. And Martha was like, fake it? Like, there's nothing about the Martha Stewart living Omnimedia that is about faking anything. Making a statement like that means you just cannot work for this corporation. All I know is that nothing is clear cut. No, it is clear cut, though, in my opinion. No, well, I'm saying You have to have a quality product that consumers can relate to and appreciate, and you have to be proud to present it. There's no faking it. There aren't any cheesy salesmen here. Primarius people, they're so smug. I can't wait to see when they have to go to the conference room and they're exposed for the frauds they are. I'm just gonna drink in the tears like nectar of the gods.
Hello? Hi, it's Julia from Martha's office. Martha's asked that you join Alexis and Charles in the conference room at 9am to hear about your next task. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Hi, Matchstick. Hi, Primarius. Hope you're ready for your next task. I'm here at Turkey Hill Road. This is my old farmhouse, and I'm working on a project, so I won't be able to be in the city to see you in person. This beautiful house was the result of a vision. When my husband and I bought it, this place was a wreck, and we used our vision to create a very beautiful lifestyle here on Turkey Hill Road. Your next task involves having a vision. Each team will be given an empty two-bedroom suite at the Weston Hotel in Times Square. Weston is launching their renewal marketing campaign centered around renewing the body, mind, and spirit of their guests. To build on this concept, you're going to take your vision and you're going to turn that suite into something extraordinary. A lifestyle suite it could be devoted to exercise. It can be devoted to love but you have to have a vision. You're going to be judged by a group of Weston executives and platinum members of their preferred guest program. The team that loses is going to see me back in the conference room, and one of you is going to be sent home. Now, Matchstick, you seem to be malfunctioning. You've lost the wedding cake task. You lost the two tasks before that, and we have to do something. I've already discussed this situation with Alexis and Charles, and they're with you now to execute my plan. Good luck, and remember that vision through and through. Primarius, which one of you thinks you're the strongest team leader? Well, who thinks they can lead Matchstick to victory on the next task? Leslie, you think that you have the strength to work with Matchstick and bring them to victory? I think so, yes, sir. I do. I know so. If you would step over and join Matchstick. And Matchstick, I think you're fortunate to have someone with that courage. And we at MSO recognize someone who's willing to take a chance. So Charles and I and Martha expect great things from your next task. So get to work, and we'll see you later. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. I became project manager because Charles asked who could step over to Matchstick and lead the team to victory. I knew if anybody in the loft could pull this off, it was me. I don't really know why Leslie felt prompted to speak up, but everyone was sort of smiling because Leslie was not one of our strongest players. And I think the fact that she left didn't really hurt us at all. So we were pleased. We all went to the Weston Hotel. Here we go. What floor? Right here, 43. And we were so excited just to see what we were going to have to work with. Oh. Guys, this is huge. It's an uncut the dining room. Yeah, it's big. It's like a palace, is it? I think it's the whole We saw our suite, and we realized it's this huge space. Yeah, I think that that must be the bedroom, because that's where the master bath is, and this is considered the living room. And then The floor is stripped. The walls are stripped. No curtains, no light fixtures whatsoever. I don't understand how anyone could furnish and renovate this suite in the time that we had. OK, here's the deal. Is it all right if I'm project manager on this? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Maybe, OK. This is the fourth task. I felt like I've been a strong leader in the first three, and I think it's finally time to prove that I can lead this group. It, it's Why? almost like we need to have a niche market, but then again, it can't be too niche -y. Yeah. But we've got to think of a theme. Like working out, everybody can really relate in spa. Everybody relates to that. Yet again. So we started out brainstorming the vision, which is exactly what Martha Stewart said. You have to have a vision. No, in a room. What else? What other ideas? I mean, even if it's so, it sounds what stupid. About, what about entertaining rooms? I like that. Ooh, the ability to throw idea. parties. Wine the ability to have yeah, that's a good idea. access yeah. to caterers. People come over, you can watch a movie. Weston entertains. I think that's a great idea. Very good idea. Yeah. We quickly came up with the concept of Weston entertains. I mean, obviously, part of entertaining is just throwing dinner parties and watching movies, but I wanted to get games and put them all around the suite. 
You know, we can't afford a top designer in New York, but if we just start half-heartedly on some sort of renovation, we're screwed. Scott, are they uh, all have to tie in? I work with color a lot, and I pulled these out when I knew our task, what our task was, because these are the colors that I see working well. This is a really great accent color for, like, a floor rug or for, you know, for a sofa. Or for I don't know if Carrie was just trying to show that she had design knowledge, but I wanted a professional design instead of something that five executive people threw together. Why don't we ask, I wonder what, if we ask the designer the color that goes best with entertaining. Weak teams have poor organizational planning. I knew that this was a task we could win, but we had to organize ourselves better and really know what we were doing. Okay, let's talk real quickly, guys. So our goal is in the next two hours to have our concept, to have the design, to measure everything. What about a toy room? I, I think there's more of a corporate travel here. Uh, I, I, I mean, I think we're getting off on... We are. If you're, if you're a business awesome. traveler going to do a presentation, rather than doing your presentation on your little screen, why don't you have the presentation up on a large screen? Why don't you have... Leslie really wanted to have a firm plan and vision before we started doing anything, but she was eating up all the time we need to do the job. We want them to feel serene. Comfort serenity, and relaxation. Comfort. Surf the net. Do they want to play golf? Maybe there's a massage there's chair in the room. Respect. We deliberate it and deliberate it and debate it and talk. What if we did photography or for the photographer enthusiasts? I do not know what kind of timeline Leslie had in the back of her mind, but I don't think it was a good one. Like the comforts of home. That's right. two doily cats. A great idea is only as good as the people who believe in it. Everybody has to believe that your idea is going to really hit a home run. I was thinking maybe this could be a kitchenette. Do you think we can combine the bar and the kitchenette? The task was to design a suite at the Westin Hotel that would incorporate a theme. Ramirez Corp decided to do entertaining. The bottom line is, is we have considerations right now. We have time constraints. Right. Ryan found an interior decorator, so we made an appointment to pick out some wallpaper and paint color. Our theme is our, what's our most important aspect. Okay, just so focusing the, on the theme, which is we want an entertaining space. Here's what I suggest we do. Mm -hmm. This would be all right. This would be fine. This is very modern and contemporary. I just want to show you guys this. Yeah, that's okay. not going with our theme, though. Oh. Bathroom, though. No. Yes. no. And what about this? Yes. No. I'm just... So Which what, is not a problem. what color wall would you put with this wallpaper? With grays in it, that's going to be fine. Ultimately, she's the designer. She's the expert. And I had to trust her advice. So I said, you know, if this is a wrong decision, I'm just going to have to live with it. But we're going with a gray. What do you think, Ryan? It's not how it started off envisioning it in my head when we started this whole thing with our theme. With this task, I'm not feeling as confident as I was with the past tasks, but the one thing I've learned is that you never overestimate matchstick. No matter how bad we do, they're always going to find a way to do worse. Tranquility, peace, watching TV, games. I think mellow to contrast with the outside. <laughs> if we're thinking of a word like, Back no? They're sweet yep. with their family, kids, grandma, grandpa, whatever. So we need That's to do it. something about the family. Our vision is about I think we should the family. family. I don't think it should I be about the family. We were trying to come up with a concept, but zero has been done. We haven't placed orders. We could have been at least getting essentials taken care of. What's the lifestyle? We got to decide right now. Entertainment. It's the entertainment room. It's like oh. the gourmet. Ooh, the gourmet. I like that one. Swimming, well, attending sporting events. We have a suite that's just for pets. Well, I think what we're missing the point here. We just need to find our target audience, which is what we're missing. We had a contracting team of about eight people to help us with the painting, with plumbing, that kind of thing. But they were sitting around all day because they didn't have any materials. Contractors waiting around does not sound like a winning formula. I think it's zen. I think it's zen. I, I like the idea of, like, flow. Like, it's like zen. It's like feng shui. That's interesting, guys. Just Come up with an acronym. Like it's a club. Come up with an acronym. F-L-O-W. Oh, Not right this know. second, but we yeah. do. Okay, for, that's our for, concept. For leisure or work. Yeah.
Flow was the concept of balancing work and life, having everything at your fingertips, but also some fun things to inspire them and help them relax while they spend time in their room. Now we can buy stuff! I think it was kind of crazy that we spent about six hours brainstorming. That's just poor time management. Ray will be going in that main room. The whole room? Yes, all the, way the around. whole entire room. Okay. We have a team of painters and electricians and plumbers, and we painted three rooms and did wallpaper in the bathroom, so they've been pretty busy. Oh, that looks so great! Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. It's gonna be funky. I really do think that the gray is really gonna look kind of nice with this, with this tile. What See? do you think, Howie? Ugh. I thought the wallpaper for the bathroom was pretty much disgusting. It was like a Atlantic City on crack. I mean, it was god awful. It doesn't work. Right. You know, just doesn't... Gray is very cold. Um, we need more of that green color. That's yeah. adding the color we need. I feel there's no color yeah. in here. Yeah. yeah. I hated the gray. I mean, I gave them a color palette, so this works. This is a no brainer. This is really industrial looking. Yes, it is. Amanda is the one who picked out this prison gray. It's such a dismal, bleak environment. If Primaris Corp loses this task, I would have to say Amanda is to blame. What our vision for this room was originally to be a room where we could throw parties. We're all not on the same page. I know. Right, I know. so we gotta be. I know. Listen, listen you guys. Hour. It's hard to focus on the vision when you're focusing on all the little details. I, think. I said, you don't have time to worry about paint color. You have like 1,500 things to do. I had to think big picture. Paint color, not a big picture. And, you know, when it comes to a task like this, you know, you always have to make split-second decisions. If we're having this many frustrations, I know that the other team is, too. I'm pissed because I didn't get my time to go shopping today. Fine, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm responsible for choosing every single piece of furniture for every single room. I think the time was managed absolutely poorly by Leslie. This was 9 o'clock at night, so I had four minutes to buy the major pieces of furniture. So I need a $900 couch it's that's light colored, <laughs> but if you had green and it's inexpensive, that's fine. Green and expensive, about ten ninety. Take it. Then we need two chairs that are like clubbish, three hundred dollars, three ninety nine. Even if it's two regular chairs, two ottomans, two cubes, anything on your mind. Okay, I can do cubing and things like that. Okay. Bethany is always going about a nine hundred miles an hour. She's like one big spaz, but she okay, was a superstar in getting all these things in about eight minutes. What do I have? Fine. Done. Done. Tax. Done. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I think I got enough to furnish this place. I think I did it right. It's going to be perfect. Bethany and Marcella went back to the hotel, and Jim, David, Don, and myself went to the hardware store. It's Leslie. Hey, Leslie? Midnight. And he left some instruction that the only way, way we're going to make it is if we actually paint some of the rooms tonight. The contractor leaves at midnight. He kept asking, you know, well, what do you guys want me to do? There's no paint, there's no carpet, there's nothing. So can you paint? And I said, we'll do anything you want us to do. You got it. Okay, thanks. Bye. I, I just, I think I it's, I don't it think it's necessary. So I think do, it's, do I don't, I agree well, with the I decision. I just feel like we're being managed by our resources and not, and not managing our resources. He gave us helpful advice. He didn't say he wasn't going to do it. The thing no. is. No, but he was saying it. We and we have to rely on the expert who said it. But we didn't He's even the only talk expert to him. We, have. we didn't no, talk but our to team the expert. To him. I'd rather see it done anyway. Ah, oh, God, I was pissed. There was no way that I'm staying up all night painting. It was ridiculous. Thanks. Every hour matters, so whatever has to get done, you have to get done. You can't be crying, I want to be going home and get in bed by 10.30. Don, you don't want to paint? But Don is just confrontational, and Don's lazy. She's probably the laziest person in the entire lot. We have to leave the loft at 6.30. Who's Dawn? Where's she coming? We're dressed 
have our bags, are ready to go, and Don is still sleeping. Hey, Don. She's completely out. Hey, Don. We're, we're leaving. She's got her earplugs in. Hey, hey, Don. So you almost have to, like, dress her. We essentially had one less player on our team because Don was useless. Leslie said 6.30 last night. I just got up. David just go, shook go, me away. Go, and then... go, 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 go. All right, we're going to put the speakers in, Glenn. We'll put one over that sconce and one over that sconce. Let's go. Sounds good. We had purchased all the materials, done all the homework. So now they had the basic elements they needed. We got the flooring. We did the lighting. And finally, we're getting a good sense of what our flow concept suite is looking like. And it's beautiful because it was cool. It was spoke to us. It inspired us. OK, looking better. I think this is going to look good because it's a very a one ticket a couch. Yeah. Come meet over here with us really quick as a team, and then we'll go. I've learned some things since working with you, which is you're the sharpest people that I know. So I sharpened some pencils just for you. <laughs> a man had handed us a pencil each, and uh, there's a little note on it, you know, you know, words of wisdom from Amanda. You know, there's no room for stress. You know, it, it's hokey, and it sounds funny, and, you know, we kind of chuckled and looked at each other, but it worked. You know, for some reason, we kind of came together that morning, and we buckled down and got on the same page. This is going to be so fun. We get to decorate an entire suite. That handle goes on the door here. This one does. Is there another paintbrush? Yeah, right there. The team was rallying around these very cool details of this suite. Instead of seeing a vase full of flowers, you see a vase full of poker chips. In the bookshelves, we put board games and candy. You just get the feeling of entertaining, and uh, that's going to make or break it. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi, guys. Good morning. Very cool. How you doing, big guy? How you doing good. How you doing? One How's hour from now, it'll all be a different place, I promise. Wow. I think Primarius has a solid concept. It could be a, quite appealing to the traveler that's coming to New York to uh, see shows and have a good time. I like this little touch in the corner. Popcorn machine? Yeah. You don't see those in a hotel room. Quite cool. <laughs> see you guys later. Good luck. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. You guys really put this together. It's kind of a work balanced work, yeah. eat space. Yeah. These shelves actually go against the wall. So where's, where does somebody sit? Oh, the couches are coming now. Oh. There's going to be a couch there, two end tables. There's going to be an L-shaped uh, section all over here. It's coming together. Well, <laughs> right get back there. to work. Thank you, sir. Two hours before the Western executives are going to show up, it was just frantic. Everybody was running, trying to get the suite in order. And Bethany is screaming in the room, and I'm like, what's happening? I'm here, but this place is really big. Listen, I mean, you just got to ask somebody where pickup is. I have no time for this. you got to find out where pickup is. They said that they're waiting for you. The delivery truck driver was there to pick up the furniture. And they can't even figure out where the furniture is, much less how it's going to be here. But I need you to get my driver out of there as soon as possible. I need this furniture in Manhattan in 45 minutes. It's going to cut it close. Close is not even what that's going to cut it. Picking up that furniture and bringing it to the suite was the most critical element of the day. 15 minutes before the Western executives are going to show up, still no furniture. Hi, where are you? I'm about to go into the front of two minutes. So how many minutes do you get here? I should be there seven minutes. Seven minutes? Yes, yeah, seven. OK, you guys, it's crunch time. Just go, 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 go! You know, like military style, deploy, go! Let's go. Is our guy here? Where is your guy? Yeah, we have that Let's there. see him. We got nothing.
the Weston executives and the focus group would ultimately be deciding who would win this task. Hello. How are you? Nice to see you. This presentation is probably one of the most important things I've done in this whole job interview process. So it's a little bit of anxiety, but I'm trying to remain relaxed. We thought of a room called Weston Entertains. In every single area, you'll see touches of entertaining, whether it's poker or whether it's our candy and game cabinet. There's games throughout the entire suite. We created a really sleek contemporary bar, kind of socializing cocktail area. Also, we have a seating area and a kitchenette, which would appeal to both the family and the business traveler. And then we have the media center, which is surround sound, wonderful television. We really wanted it to be like a movie theater experience, hence the popcorn. I think maybe the greatest compliment that could be paid is that it doesn't look like a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank you. I just don't understand, dude. Was there anything for them to sit on at all? We're at our deadline. We don't have a couch. Bethany asked me, do we have a chance? And I'm thinking to myself, no couchy, no winny. How are you? How are you? I know what's missing in that room. I don't have a freaking couch. I was essentially selling air. We talked to a lot of consumers like you and said, what is it you really want? And we heard folks that said what our new concept is, which is flow, F-L-O-W, for leisure or work. It's your choice. And so we didn't put in a lot of, you know, big fluffy sofas because you expect that. We made everything simple and hidden because we didn't want complexity. Instead, here we're focusing on zero gravity. This reminds me of my first apartment graduating from college when I couldn't afford to furnish it. Is this the right room? Hi. Hi. How are you? So hello. hello. Welcome to Weston. We're so glad to have nice. you here. And I'm you're Sue Brush. Senior Vice President and Global Brand Manager for Weston. How do you do? I'm DV, Vice you... President for Weston Design. Great, nice to meet both of you. Thank so you. how did our teams do? Well, Martha, we've got to tell you, we have really been blown away. What they were able to accomplish in such a short time is just incredible. So, uh, Primarius, do you think you won again? Well, we're hoping so. And what about you, Matchstick? I think we had a great concept with a lot of marketability. Well, Leslie, you did volunteer to lead this team to a win, and I certainly hope you did. Not that I'm taking sides. <laughs> so this is exciting. Primarius, Sue. All right. The theme for Primarius was entertainment, and we will say that when you walked in the suite, you got the concept, I think, fairly quickly. And what's that? A popcorn machine. That is a popcorn <laughs> machine. So when you walked in, you actually had the aromatherapy, if you will. <laughs> and Matchstick? How do you think Matchstick did, DB? That's the first impression we got. Great use of wood floor. It really embellished the idea of openness. Is there any place to flop down and watch TV? Uh, well, that hard wood floor, that's what you see. It. So the comfort <laughs> is lacking, actually. It looks like a little bit of an unfurnished house and I don't understand their theme. Well, do you think either concept was really a bold concept? Innovative concept was important for us. Right. And because it was consistent throughout and it was a great risk-taking concept. The winner is Primarius. <laughs> well, here we go again. <laughs> Primarius, I know you're exhausted. I'm exhausted. And so I thought it would be a great idea if you just went upstairs to your suite. And uh, I'll come up and see you in a little bit. And uh, Matchstick, I'm going to see you back in the conference room. Uh, one of you has to go home, and this is your fourth loss. And I am really disappointed. followed Amanda's directions, Amanda set out the vision and enacted every part of it. And I have to give her kudos because she stepped up and led to a victory. Hi. Congratulations. Oh, so this looks good. It's a 
this is your little entertainment center. So you have the poker channel on. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, your game cupboard and your M&Ms. You might have to have an M&M. <laughs> One of the reasons we're here is because we admire and we respect Martha Stewart and, and like to learn from her. Well, I like using this as a window seat. Look at the view. Oh my gosh, I grew up over there in New Jersey. She looked around the suite and spent some time with us, and I thought that was a wonderful reward. So who wants to sleep first? <laughs> you can watch TV, you can relax, you can fall asleep, you can do whatever you want, but uh, I'm going to leave you to enjoy your fourth win. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty fabulous. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 conference room three times in a row and I definitely expect to go back a fourth time because I'm pretty sure that Leslie's gonna try to blame me for anything that went wrong but Leslie was completely incompetent I thought she was a poor decision maker I thought she was frankly a jackass real quickly I think you did an amazing job on the furniture we have to win and I think this team can win and we have to get rid of the weakest link I totally so agree I want all of us focused on doing that okay I will take you and Don in there I was one of the best songs you on were team. The best. So to take me in there is putting me at risk. This task was lost on time management and prioritization. No, 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 I blame no, no, Leslie no, no, for no, that. No, no, no. You're gonna bring me in and then I'm gonna have to defend myself and then it's not gonna be about Don. No, but it but it is. If I'm gonna be put at risk, I'm gonna, you know, fight for my life in there. I honestly No no no, and you should. But that isn't where the aim of this is. If Matchstick is ever going to win, you have to lose the dead weight. And the biggest anchor on all of us was Dawn. Hello. Hi, you can go right in. Thank you. Leslie. Whose idea was the theme, the flow? It was a collective, team, uh, a collective idea, I would say, process. But, I, but Jim has to be credited. The acronym was for leisure or work. Well, I really liked the, the design, but frankly, it was an unfinished room. So, Leslie, what do you say about that? Everything was coming together. It's on a very tight timeline, and it was an issue of the furniture delivery. I really believe had the furniture made it to its destination, we would have succeeded. And whose fault was that? The responsibility for furniture was Bethany. I really believe if I had one piece of information... I, you had the piece of information. No, you, did no, have the information. you did say to me, don't worry, the furniture's gonna get here and we're gonna deal with this task. I said the furniture's on its way, which it was. It, she was the not show up, did it? She wasn't responsible no. for the did delivery. She, no, it didn't. The furniture and went with the delivery. Why couldn't we get the furniture? The furniture, Bethany was absolutely correct, and I give her tremendous credit. She picked beautiful pieces. That was only one portion. The timeline from the get-go, we spent six hours discussing concept, and I kept saying, we, how we, we don't even have a boat to put in the water. Why are we worried about what kind of curtains we have on it? We need paint and furniture. We spent about six hours brainstorming. No, 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 that's not a reality. That that's is not a reality. That is a reality. reality. But in the end, the problem was that you guys just didn't finish on time. You know, I'm having a garden tour tomorrow, okay? I had to get the driveways coated with beautiful um, pea stone today. I had to get all the gardens edged. I had, everything's done. Guess what? I only had a couple hours. Well, you know why? You didn't have them doing it. Well, well you had all these other people. What were you doing, David? What did you do? You had I painters. Painted. The painters asked us to paint because they said that if we were going to finish, we needed to step yeah. in and paint. The priorities were in the wrong order and the time was managed very poorly. I would have to argue with that statement, Martha, just because I believe the one consistent element is Dawn in her inability to perform as, as a team player and her negativity on so the team. Why don't you just paint, give her a paintbrush and make her paint? I mean, she see, wouldn't. You wouldn't paint? 
You said that? No, 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 no. I said I will do anything else except paint and clean. But you've made a lot of excuses like that on other projects, too. No, that's not true. Dawn would not wake up and be ready to leave for 30 minutes. We'd have to wait for her to get out of bed and get ready to come with us. I mean, how could you not wake up in the morning? I was awake. Were you dressed and ready to go? I w- I'm a very heavy sleeper, and I don't care sometimes when the alarm clock goes. <laughs> no, 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 You're a heavy sleeper. Okay, come on, come on. If you want to listen to what, my answer, what, what else do we you. have? Sometimes I didn't. I wasn't told what time we had but to be. But why ready. can't you ask? That, I mean, I, be told. I was Boy, not if late. I were applying for a job, I would be up and I'm ready. Not late for work. But you were. You were 30 no, minutes late. Okay. Can I just tell you something? Can That's I just, a big problem. Dawn, you keep this up. You're going to have a lot of time to sleep. You do complain a lot. No, I, that's not true. I'm, I'm running out of time here, and I and think patience, that... Right? And patience, Well, I don't want to lose my patience. None of you want me to lose my patience. Marcella, who do you think should be sent home? Uh, Don. David? I think Leslie's the most responsible. Jim? Anybody but me. A name. A name. I would say the timeline wasn't managed properly, and I don't really know who to blame that on, but I'm thinking that maybe it might be Leslie, but I could get behind the getting rid of Dawn. Leslie. Dawn. So, Leslie, tell me the two people that you would bring back to the conference room. I would bring Dawn and Bethany. Okay. Marcella, David, Jim, please return to the loft. And Dawn, Bethany, Leslie, please wait in the reception room. One of you is going to be sent home. I don't think we got down to the why the characters didn't get there. <laughs> I agree. What they've been saying consistently is Dawn's the problem. Everybody brings Dawn back. Yeah. And I think everyone's, that... you know, got a, a reason for her being a problem. Right. Her attitude is just not a good yeah, attitude. No, I agree. And then Bethany, of course, was in charge of the furniture. And Leslie was the project manager. I think you've got a tough choice tonight. Julia, could you please send the three ladies in? Okay, Martha. You can go right in. I need a win from this team. This is a real problem. Leslie, I think that you had a problem communicating with your team members. Martha, they can argue about all those details and time management, but the reality as a project manager, I believe that had we had that furniture at least an hour, it would have been tight. I don't argue that Bethany, what do you say about this? Leslie was the weakest because this is the only task we didn't complete. With all due respect, and I know you came on this team and you totally took a chance, but I'm having an issue, a personal issue, because I was told by Leslie that I was the strongest member of my team and that no one works harder than I am, but that I should be brought in here today to help her to get rid of Dawn, because Dawn's the most negative on the team. Now, I'm just having a confusing issue with if I'm the strongest and I work the hardest, you know, why I'm here. Well, I think you're here because the furniture never arrived. And you might have won the task if the furniture arrived. It's a very confusing I think to me. that everyone was waiting for the furniture delivery and Bethany was in charge of seeing that happen. Earlier on, there was a lot of time wasted before they got rolling. And that could very easily be Leslie's problem. Dawn's attitude, uh, that's like an old, that's an old story. Well, Dawn, I like you because I'm usually the person everyone likes least on the team. Um, <laughs> but no one has ever said that I didn't work really, really hard. I did work very hard on this task. But I just, everyone, everyone I keeps saying that you don't. No, no, no. I, that's not 
on Bethany, this task. Bethany, did she work really, really hard on this task? Dawn's been the weakest link on the team throughout the entire Not experience. for this task, though. I believe this team can win the next task. I believe to do so, Dawn has to that go. That is not... I'll tell you this, Martha. You I don't want to be here. I'm you know a key I want to be here, too, but I want to be here with success. Some. And I was the top salesperson for both teams We're talking the last about task. this task. No, but there is a record here. I want to be here. I prove. I commit. And we were so close to an amazing victory. I could have implemented a contingency plan. I just needed that information. You, why didn't you give her the We did it. Everything. Anymore. We were so close I, I, to victory. So close. I can't even get involved in these details because it wastes time. Leslie, the whole time management was just a mess. But because you volunteered to leave a winning team and come over to this losing team, I will give you another chance. Dawn, this is the fourth loss. I had nothing to do with this loss. Well, again, you're I making had... excuses, I'm... and you, don't, you didn't have anything to do with the win either because you didn't win. <laughs> Bethany... I'm very sorry that you weren't more effective in getting the furniture delivered on time. But because the design was good, I think that uh, you should stay. And Dawn, you're making excuses. Something is wrong. You don't seem to be functioning as a member of the team. You just are not effective. So therefore, Dawn, I'll say goodbye. Thank you very much. Well, I tried to give it a chance and really clearly the right decision here. Well, I do want this team to succeed, and I think we're going to have to do a reshuffling of major proportions. Alexis and I are going to go out and find out what happened to the furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Dom, I'm sorry that you must leave the team matchstick, but after four losses, it is clear that you are not making significant contributions to the group and really don't fit the idea of a real employee of MSLO. We want you to succeed, and we certainly wish you well. Good luck, and have a good trip home. Sincerely, Martha Stewart.